Hey everybody, Omega Olden plays Civilization VI Rise and Fall. Begins anew with a Genghis Khan Mongolia playthrough. I'm just gonna go kind of normal playstyle for this because it has been a couple months since I've played through a complete game. Um, so, you know, I feel like I might be a little rusty here. I want to give myself a little time to, uh, to uh, sharpen up, so... That's why I also went with Genghis Khan here, cause I, he, he's a little he's a little powerful. He's he's a he's a strong lad. He's got some good abilities. Um, and briefly, I just want to talk about you know it's been a couple months since I put up a video. I'm doing good. A lot of you actually uh, asked about me, contacted me, said hey Omega, you haven't been around. What's up? And uh, you know I've been looking. I was looking for a job for a while, focusing on improving my skill set and whatnot while doing so. So interviewing and I landed a job. And it's a good job, and I got started this week, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing well. And I appreciate you guys asking, what, worrying about me and whatnot, so, um, I just wanted to clear that up. So it has been a couple months, so let's, let's get back in it with Genghis Khan here. Mongol Horde. Cavalry class units get plus three combat strength, and a chance to capture defeated enemy cavalry class units. Amazing! We already love cavalry, and these are just even better. And it's all cavalry across the board, heavy and light, so that's amazing. The Or 2, which is uh, like a trading post buff. Um, I looked at, I looked this up on Wikipedia. It brought up an article called like Yam with in parentheses route. And it was like a series of uh, like scouting posts with supplies and whatnot. So he could cover great distances, I think, pretty quickly for just messages. Like, you know, getting information around, so... I think that's the whole theory behind this thing. But basically, uh, you get double the usual combat bonus from diplomatic visibility. You get the free trading post automatically when you start a trade route with a city. Um, and you get an extra level of diplomatic visibility for having a trading post in a city. So that's pretty sweet. That's a strong buff on top of everything else. Ordu is a replacement stables. Plus one movement to heavy and light cav units trained in the city. Plus 25% combat experience for all cavalry class units trained in the city. It is, uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. Makes your cavalry even better. <laughs> your already great cavalry is now better. We have the Keshigs. Um, these are ranged cavalry. I think you get them at the same spot you get the Knights. This is an awesome unit. It can uh, escort... Civ, uh, civilization, uh, civilian units and support units at the same speed as the Keshig, so you can move around generals and whatnot a lot easier. Or battering rams, as it were. Move those battering rams around. It's just pretty sweet. So standard settings, uh, fractal map, deity, difficulty. Nothing unusual about how we're playing this time. We're just going to be trying to win a... a some sort of domination victory, probably. Or whatever just happens to fit. But, you know, we'll be fighting people. That's for sure. Here's our seed. Not, none of this other stuff has changed. So, hopefully we get some interesting. And uh, the game, you know, the game helps me get back in it. Please, game. Help me. Let's get started. So, this is our starting location. It's actually kind of interesting. We have desert here. Uh, we have some hills over here. Like, this could honestly be... You know, a Petra city, potentially. Also, plenty of jungle over here for... I mean... I forget what that wonder is called that we almost never build. But, uh... It's a, I don't remember. Uh, but, yeah. It's an interesting start. We have, uh... No horses we can see, which is unfortunate. This whole area right here is gonna be... Um... Fresh water? That's not the right view. Settler view. Fresh water, fresh water. So, let's see. Let's take him up on this hill and then see what we have going. So, now I'm kind of second-guessing this position here. And I'm like, uh... Do we want to go... And move... Where would we move? I mean, we need plenty of... Reduction. This might be our best bet, honestly, for now. 
And like I said, we could potentially have Petra here. It's not the best Petra city, but it does have a, a lot of stuff going for it. We could also get pyramids here. I don't know. Let's settle here and see what happens. We got our sailing bonus. There's some sugar over here. All right. I could have waited till next turn and maybe got a little better view, but I don't. I don't want to wait too long. Obviously. We don't have any good resources around here to instantly uh, improve with a builder. I think maybe we'll go mining first and then see what happens. We need a lot of stuff under mining pretty early for uh, just being able to conquer people. What's our, uh, our tile situation like? Yeah, that's fine. So we don't have any any good production here, which is the unfortunate part. Moving around wasn't going to get us much more, um, at least not that I could see in the immediate area. So if I could have found some place with more production right off the bat, I would have moved there. Holy crap, there is a nice floodplains area here. So this is the spot that I was thinking of potentially moving down here, but it would have been disastrous for production. There's a wonder over here. So, oh crap, Egypt is on this map, so we're going to lose out on wonders, most likely. I really need to get a city over here. Holy. I need Petra, is what I need. Ooh, a builder automatically. Alright, well that helps us out. Now we don't have to worry about... Uh, Building one of those immediately, I can just go straight to uh, straight settler. I forgot to send her a, a gift, a delegation. Now she hates me. That's that old rust right there. Okay, other news. Other news. Civilization six. Gathering storm. I don't know if you've heard about this. I'm excited. Uh, they just yesterday announced the expansion to Civilization VI coming in on February 14th of the year 2019. I'm hyped. I was, uh, you know, I, I was kind of hoping for something new coming up, but I wasn't sure. All right, this is going to take us seriously 19 turns. Gosh, our production is just awful. We really need this tile i think can i buy this and then put a mine there yeah we're gonna do that because i need i need we've got a nice uh food tile here what i need is uh is some production so i think that's worth it Who deserves even though it's not i mean it's not an amazing tile by any stand, stretch of the imagination or standard or anything like that but it's gonna help us out but back to gathering storm the important part it's getting, uh, it's gonna have, like, uh, I think diplomatic changes. I think they're redoing, uh, warmonger penalties. I think they're, they're putting in the World Congress. Maybe some sort of diplomatic victory. I know they're adding environmental effects and stuff, too, which is, like, uh, like, that, the trailer, you should go check out the, the video and, and see the notes on civilization.com yourself. But the trailer had, like, um, you know, the volcano erupting and destroying, what is that, Pompeii? And all sorts of stuff like that. So there's going to be basically disasters that we have to work with. Like, I would imagine this floodplain would actually flood and have you'd have to deal with stuff. Uh, that part concerns me, honestly. I think that's probably going to be the hardest thing to adjust to, is just... Uh, the game ruining you with uh <laughs> with those things but hopefully you know i trust them I, they they usually make everything better each time they put stuff out so i'm not too concerned with it but i uh I, you know it, it is on the on the mind as a concern is like maybe that's gonna be rough to deal with all right i want this and this So these kind of work with each other, but yeah, we need to, uh, we need more production in this city and that's going to be hard, hard to get. So we will get a lot of, uh, a lot of growth 
There's a decent amount of food around here. I, I forgot that I needed to walk that way. Some more of the rust. It's okay. We'll figure it out. So we need irrigation as our kind of uh, ability to do anything else here. Because this sugar needs it, this bananas needs it. So you can go ahead and just sleep here, my dude. Let's go get this goodie hut that I should have grabbed Ethics earlier. Ninja. You're not worthy to bask in our presence. Your power is as fragile as your army is weak. That's a very mean thing to say, Cleo. And I was gonna compliment you, and you just came ahead. And, it is uh, not wisdom. And you're just so mean to me. I hope we can be friends. At least until such time as I get catchers. <laughs> and then I hope that you don't mind being added to my uh, my empire. I'm sure your cities are pretty cool. All right, we need to check out down here because this is where we want to build our city, I think. We want to build it down by that wonder. It's also down where Egypt is, so we do have to be mindful of that. Oh, well, what else is going on? I guess to date this episode even further, I've already given you clues as to when it was made. If you watch regularly, you'll know when it was made, because I make them pretty much immediately. But this will just give it away entirely. It's going up on uh, on Thanksgiving Day. One of my favorite holidays. I hope uh, I am anyone who is participating in Thanksgiving, I hope you all enjoy it. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day regardless. But Thanksgiving's a pretty boss holiday. <laughs> Where we just eat a lot. We do that every day. That's true. Okay, I really want... Uh, I want the ability to start making some military to fight her. But I really want irrigation. So I'm going for irrigation first. I don't know, this is a... Uh, it might be a mistake, but we'll see. So she's... Ooh, that's not her, actually. That's somebody else. I was going to say she's down here, but she's not down here. Somebody else is. But I want to put a city near this. What Wonder. a grand sight. Aluru. I like these tiles. Really, this would have to be our Petra city. Like, we wouldn't want to Petra this up, we'd want to Petra that. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know how likely it is to get yeah, Petra when Egypt is out here. She's probably chasing it right now. Oh, don't mind if I do. So Saladin, you're the one that we saw on the border there. Let's go ahead and send you a, a delegation here. Try to get things off on a better foot than previously. So where would we place this city? You get the bonuses of the tiles you're on, so... You could have a pretty boss city right on this... This diamond tile. <laughs> it, well, I guess it's not much better than anywhere else, so probably I would want to drop it here, because you get the automatic two food and one, uh... You get the automatic two food, one production. So... You'd want to put it like here or here. So I'm going to send my settler this way. Yeah. Yeah. And now our builder. We already have a builder. He's doing builder things. Let's go ahead and get some slingers out here. And we will deal with this spearmans. Okay, so. Oh, there's a. 
a city there. I don't know. Maybe we should, uh... I really want these tiles, but I could I could drop here and then buy that. Um, and that gives me a ton of desert if I can manage to I thought do something must... here. We'd have to go. We'd have to rush for that and then go and just start building like mad. I don't know if getting it is is a possibility even, but it is something that I would like to try. So let's see, I really want irrigation. I know this is kind of not a great thing to chase at the beginning, but it does give me some stuff here that I could really use. Lots of sugar resources. All right, and you've made my choice for me, my friend. Let's go ahead and buy this tile. And I guess we should grow first and then uh, prioritize Oh, wait, we're growing, like... Why are we growing in three turns? Is this true? Oh, we must... We had this tile before. We're not actually growing in three turns. We need this, and then we can get this next. Once we actually grow, we can grab that and then start building. And we will get a warrior and a builder. I will, uh, I'll look elsewhere. I don't know where you are, but you must be, like, over here or something. You're, you're near, you're close enough that you got angry about that, so. Wait, is this you? I thought this was Saladin, actually. This might be you. It's probably you. That would make more sense. I can piece the clues together. We get our promotion. Hopefully he doesn't come and just kill us. I don't know if he could, but we are very wounded. Now he definitely can't. Oh, you horsemen. I'm so jealous that you have cavalry and I don't. This is a good tile for us, though. We definitely need to get on this immediately. That faith and that culture is uh is a big boon for us a big ed boon noob cybot let's see all right all right yes yes there you go and now we have to be cautious we can't move him out because this horseman will obliterate us there we got that that's good I'm scared of this horse man's. Ooh, thank you. Alright, let's start. Well, let's heal you up and then we'll start sending you back. You'll probably run into more barbarians along the way, so we'll want you to be at, you know, full strength for that. So she dealt with that. Ooh. Okay, this is not great for us. We need to get a hustle on here. She is going to attack us. And we are not going to be able to do a darn Still thing about it right now. So let's see. We want this. We want to make our guys faster. That's what we want to do right now. And, yeah, this is bad news for us. Right, can you, we need you to get over here. It's going to be too long, I think. Please don't uh, declare war on me. It's not my time. Oh, 
Irrigation, we want you, but archery, we need. All right, let's go archery. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is this is a, a dangerous time for us right here. This is going to be where an empire is made or broken, I feel. I might be hyping it up a little too much, but yeah, we got to be cautious here. Excuse me, please. Let me get my warrior built. Let me get another slinger built. Let me get this warrior back. Just give me a little time is all. That's all I'm asking you is just a few moments of time here. I asked you for time. And you didn't give me any time. Which is fair enough. That's probably the good move on your part, honestly. But sure makes me feel like uh, like I'm in some trouble. All right, let's go ahead and this slinger over here is in some trouble. We need to hurt one of them. Let's bring you around here. And let's get a, a warrior out here going. All right. I'm worried about our capital here. It's not very strong. Our, our slinger over here. Oh, he survived. All right. I want a, I want a slinger kill. So we're going to do this. That gets us our archery bonus. Let's go ahead and knock away at this guy. Alright, so this is alright. I'm feeling feeling okay right here. I guess you can go ahead and come back here because we are not going to have irrigation for you. Like we were originally planning. Oh no! Okay, so you need to go, and then uh, hopefully this is good enough to prevent the city from falling. Did we hold off the thing in time? It looks like we did. So the, we got lucky there. May the forces of evil. I'm not calling that skill or anything. I'm calling that just dumb luck that she didn't just. If she, I think if she attacked our city straight up from the beginning instead of like the first turn, kind of hanging out and whatnot, that I think we'd be toast right now. But now we have, uh, we have ourselves three archers. This whole thing is a much different situation, so. She lost her ability to just take me out instantly. But we can go ahead and finish our irrigation here. So that's good for us. That's good news. We should get probably... Maybe another city settled in the time being. But we, we kind of... I guess... Let's be cautious and get another warrior. But I think maybe we should get... Uh, get another city going soon as well. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. All right, foreign trade just happened. Uh, we'll keep those. That's fine. All right, let's see. Send you out here. You get your upgrade. You guys can move up and attack us. Okay, so this, I feel much more comfortable and confident about the things happening now. It was, uh, it was a uh, briefly scary. We need, we should get military tradition soon, but I want early empire for the uh, governor slot. We all know how good governors are. All right, I'm gonna send you into our territory to heal. Get your upgrade right here. Choose our pantheon. So, is there one for desert out here? Plus one from marsh, oasis, and floodplains. We have 
a lot of uh, of those things. We have a lot of floodplains. We have a couple oases. This is a good get for us. So I think I think that's what we have to go with here. Let's take a look at everything that's available as far as pantheons go. But because uh, there's desert folklore, which is interesting. Obviously, with golden ages and whatnot, that faith bonus can be pretty nice. But I really think that we're, we're struggling for production in a lot of cases. I think we have to do this. I think that's just how we roll here. Goddess of the Harvest is always fun, but I think I think you got to go with that, ladies. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Uh, found this pantheon. This made so many of our tiles that much better. It's ridiculous. That is good good news for us. Let's see. We definitely needed a boon like that. Okay. So we're feeling good. Thousands have lived. We have an army. We haven't. Uh, knock on wood. We haven't lost anything yet. Let's go ahead and kill that. I know you had an upgrade available, but it is, that's fine. Okay. Let's get our plantation. You heal up. We got some visibility over here. So what's next for us? What's uh, what's on the agenda? Probably the wheel. That's a good one for us as far as things go. And then writing is also going to be important. We need to get uh, campuses up pretty quick. I mean, there's a lot of things that are important for us right now. No doubt about it. So I want to kill you. We'll just finish him off with this. Even though we needed to get him his upgrade. Whatever. He can put in work. He's okay with it. So which one of these do we think is more capital-centric? I'm going to guess over here. But I'm not positive. I guess it probably tells us if we hover over the thing what the cities are. Swen it. Rock Cadet, Rock Cadet, that's their capital, right? Excuse me. I guess we're building we're building a settler and builder instead of army so we could switch off of our what we currently have going the next turn or two turns from now when when that's done. There's a barbarian over there. Hello, Swenet. Oh, Cyrus, my dude! You're looking uh looking good with your little whatever that thing is that you decided to put on your head. I like your purple. It's uh it's a nice looking little very very regal looking outfit you got going on. Let's go ahead and send you a delegation. How you been? It's good to see you. I guess I could have fired from here. Had I not moved a guy there. That's okay. Battle cry! And here's our... Plantation. Let's go ahead and try to trade this with Cyrus if we can. Cyrus, my friend. Dude, you are a good friend already. You're willing to give me good money for this. Ooh. Alright. I believe in you. Cyrus. Cyrus, my dude. Let's go ahead and purchase our, uh, our monument in celebration here. All right, so there is a set of a uh, set of barbarian scum down here. A hive of barbarian villainy. That our uh, our scout is now 
found himself surrounded in. He's alright then. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down. Early Empire. Alright, so we're in a dark age. That's fine. Uh, we can't take any of those bonuses right now. What were we talking about? Potentially switching away from this military policy. He's done it. He's attacked my friend here. Alright, so what's our dedication? Where's everybody else at? They're in golden ages. Everyone but me is a golden age. That's uh, not good for our hero. I mean, I think we just take uh, free inquiry here. And try to get into a heroic age next time. That would be obviously ideal. Let's go ahead and get military tradition under our belt. And as far as things go, I think you know who you choose here. Although, man, we're, we're, we're going to be hurting ourselves if we chop a bunch of these things. So maybe we don't go. Maybe we maybe we change things up. What's our uh? So Hat USA is the only person we know about, and they're at war with us. What, what do we go for governors here? Like Magnus is obviously amazing, but I don't feel like he's the choice for us right now. Obviously not Moksha, but Pingala. Reyna? Leon? Let's get her, because I you get the you get a lot of bonus out of being able to get additional uh builder charges. Let's go put her up here. And then we're gonna need to hold off on our builder for a couple turns, so let's switch to instead getting a trader for the time being, and then we'll switch to the builder to get the extra charges. Or extra charge. Hello, the hanging garden. Moving on up, moving on up to the capital. We finally got a piece. Bravery is being the only. All right, military tradition. That's a good one to get. How many turns until we can start making troops again? Um, it's going to be a bit, so we'll stay. Oh, I didn't change away from it, did I? No, I didn't. So now's my time to change away from it to... Honestly, just be the barbarian thing. I guess loyalty couldn't be useful. We're learning... We're about to learn the wheel, so honestly, let's just switch it up to uh, maneuver instead. And then we'll go... Obviously, chariots. Chariots coming up. Oh, chariot archers. I forgot about you. She's so good. Such a strong leader. What do we want here? I guess we'll go state workforce since it's going to be faster for us. And put you in here and, and heal you up. Put you up here. Also heal you up. Sometimes but okay. The wheel turns we have the wheel. We're, we're at a, an interesting juncture here. She's got some ranged units. This We really want to draw this chariot archer out and kill it uh but this is a good point i think for the end of this video let's see where everybody is right now so saladin saladin of the arabian empire 21 science per turn we're at 6.1 <laughs> so he's uh three and a half times further ahead than us 11 techs researched he's almost doubled us in techs researched Cyrus has got even more science per turn than him, but that's fine. She has, uh, Cleo has 
13.7, so she's a little more than double us. Uh, and we are at 9.2 culture per turn, which is honestly not bad at this point for us, I think. You know, obviously it's it's mainly this, uh, this Uluru over here helping us out. I'm not going to be able to get Petra. I'm just going to say that out loud right now. I'm going to try to get Petra, but I need to research towards it. And I really just, I don't see it happening, but we're going to try. I was just, this city would be amazing with Petra, but it looks, uh, it looks rough. I'm just going to say that it looks rough. Score wise, we are at 56. The top is uh, Cyrus with 179. So if we can put a dent in, uh, in Egypt right now, if we can take her capital or whatever, we really change the game up here. This is, this is always the game plan early on in a domination style setup in deity you just go for that and you hope for the best <laughs> so oh knocking stuff over please get out of my wheel there we go caught caught up in the chair that's gonna be it for this one guys like the video if you enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and i'll catch you guys next time later